guys, I am Trisha with Insectopia, and today, let's talk about fall. I love when the leaves change color and cover the ground. Today, I figured we would talk about the variety of insects that hide and depend on fall leaf litter, and what you can do to help protect them. I could just say something like, hey, pretty, pretty please rake your leaves into a pile on the side of your yard, or put them on a garden. Don't put them into a garbage can that is heading for the dump. In 2018, 7% of all waste in U.S. landfills was yard waste. Instead, let's talk about the variety of beneficial and beautiful insects that are protected when you keep the leaves. Luna moths. These beautiful pale green moths can be found in the eastern United States. The caterpillars feed on black walnut, white birch, hickory, willow, and a variety of related trees. When the luna moth is ready to pupate, it will find a leaf or two to roll up in, use silk to hold the leaf tight, and fall to the ground to blend in with the leaves. This is a great way for a cocoon to camouflage, but it also leads to the possibility of being raked up before the moth emerges. Many species of moths and butterflies overwinter as cocoons or chrysalids, but the great spangled fritillary overwinters as a caterpillar instead. It can be found across most of the United States, from Washington south to Northern California and east to North Carolina. In late August, early September, the great spangled fritillary lays eggs on a variety of native violets. The young caterpillars will crawl away from their host plant to hide in fallen leaves. This is their home for the winter. The leaf litter serves as insulation from the cold winter weather. In May, when the violets are sprouting from the ground, the caterpillars become active. They feed on the violet leaves, grow, and continue the life cycle. Butterflies and moths aren't the only insects that use the leaf litter as insulation. Do you know what happens to a bumblebee colony during the fall? They all die. Well, except for the queen. The queen will leave the hive in search of a place to burrow down for the winter. She will find a place under the leaf litter or a hole underground to protect herself from the elements. The queen bumblebees thank you for allowing them to have a nice warm place to overwinter. If you choose a place in your yard that you will leave the leaves, they will have a nice place to rest. Now, if you want to help protect these native insects in your yard, you could do something else with your raked leaves, other than send them to the dump. You could put them on the side of your yard in a designated space. You could pile them on top of your garden to protect your plants. These leaves will also welcome beneficial insects. I promise you will have happy flowers in the spring. If your thought is, we don't have the room in my yard for a designated space, I don't have a garden, and would still like to do the most responsible thing with my leaves. You can always choose option three. Rake your leaves into paper bags and ensure they go to a location that composts yard waste, like a local garden or composting center. Let's check out some images of insects that we talked about today. If you learned something, share this with your friends. Thank you for listening. Our buggy question is, what do you do with the leaves that fall in your yard? Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Come back soon to check out our next epic insect tale.